Good evening. Put my voice box in simply to say I've been gratefully appreciative of all the speakers. And they're all speaking about this. Appearingly empty space. We just walked through a story together. Did it exist? Or did it not? When I was 17 years old, my mime teacher, who used Kabbalah and mysticism to teach, he said, this space is sacred because in it, when you walk upon the stage, you have an agreement. Everyone is willing to not know. 
And so for me as a performer, as a pantomime, I think of what we do there, out those doors. And one thing is, we have a thought that becomes a perception. The thought is a combination of synaptic little biochemical events going up here. And then they create this. I'm about to go into life and I think, no, I'm not ready. And that little thought becomes this. I'm going to go forward, but my mother said I was going to be nobody when I grew up. It's right, this is, it's right here. As if there's a boundary between me and life. But it's just this. So all the perceptions of limitation that we have, it's this. It's perception only. So this, which seems very solid, in fact, it'll affect my body. Watch. I'll do it again. It's very real, isn't it? But that's how we give our thoughts that much reality. But in reality, if I am not holding up my perceptions myself, holding on to them, believing in them, investing in them, multiplying them, adding on, those perceptions can go like this, and I can be back in the infinite potential of space. So this room and the rest of this conference is just that, infinite potential in space. But it's not a conference. We are the conference. So for the rest of the conference, have a joyful time, and I'm actually doing a full show tomorrow night in the room here at 8 o'clock, so for those of you that wish, I'll see you back here. But in the meantime, put that imaginary food in your body and have a really good time. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you.